And good morning, I'm Chris Gutierrez. Good morning, everybody. I'm Erin Kennedy. Thanks for being with us. As the Balkans deal with devastating and deadly floods, a 10-year-old girl here in Chicago is on a mission to help. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live on the city's north side to explain. Mike, good morning. 538 right now. This morning, experts are looking for people who had contact with a MERS patient from Illinois. That man contracted MERS from the first U.S. patient with the virus. It is 538. The happiest place on Earth just got more expensive. Mm. How much it'll cost to send your family to Disneyland. The Turkish mining history. Meanwhile, hepatitis is a common bloodborne infection that slowly destroys the liver, yet few people ever know if they're infected. So today, health experts around the country hope to change that. Elizabeth Cook reports on free testing that's taking place. CBS2 has partnered with the Asian Week Foundation to promote Hepatitis Testing Day. For a list of locations offering that testing today, just head to cbschicago.com. 543 on your Monday morning, traffic and weather together. Here's Megan. Yeah, and it's beautiful outside. It the song, CBS2 News. All right, Aaron, Susanna, thank you very much. It is 547 right now. In Money Watch, you might want to check your fridge. Kraft Foods is voluntarily recalling 1.2 million cases of its cottage cheese products. All right, best way to start your day, mm -hmm. perhaps your week mm -hmm. bacon right yeah can't go wrong with bacon. but today we're saying wake up and smell the schmaken schmaken huh a local company is uh, winning praise and awards for the innovation at this year's national restaurant association uh, convention cbs2's vince gerasoli is trying it out at mccormick place schmaken mario tracocci is responsible for the uh, freshest styles and is always on the lookout for a fresh face the celebrated salon just held its annual mario make me a model competition before the winner was announced rob johnson and i we kicked <laughs> off that show on friday night it was awesome how is everybody i am so excited to be here we've been hanging out backstage the amount of talent back there is absolutely mind-boggling it really was the runway was part of the event that was held at the museum of broadcast communications mario make me a model has launched the careers of 26 women and men some winding up working in chicago new york milan paris and the latest winner this stunning woman Julia Swives from Munster, Indiana. Congratulations to her. She won a trip to Cancun and many other from goodies. Munster. And, you know, it wasn't just a show for the models, but the designers who were showcased, mm -hmm. all local Chicago designers, just incredible. Looks like you and Rob had fun working the red carpet there, huh? They said, Aaron, can you film for Kate, who was sick on Friday? Yeah. I said, fashion what? Yeah. I'll be You're there. You're there, right? Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you for that. Time now is a 5.57 on your Monday morning. A Northwest Indiana boy, you may remember this, swallowed by that sand dune. Well, now, researchers believe they now know why it happened. Morning. Welcome inside the CBS2 Broadcast Center on this Monday morning. I'll tell you what, these Blackhawks are taking advantage of the home ice. In fact, Megan Malachy said they're 18 and 2 at home in the playoffs over the last two seasons. What a great way to no start this kidding. off. I right. love it. Next game is Wednesday, right? right? So fingers crossed for everybody. That's it. Good morning, everybody. I'm Erin Kennedy. Thanks for being with us. We're going to get a check on your weather. Family and friends are mourning a former Marine from Lamont killed in a motorcycle crash just before hours before he was set to graduate from the University of Illinois. Is marijuana reform in Illinois? Illinois really working. A new study says despite legislation aimed at decriminalizing small amounts of pot, arrests related to the drug are on the rise. The Tribune reports instead of issuing tickets and fines, police in some areas are still choosing to send violators to jail. Researchers at Roosevelt University also say because different municipalities have different laws and policies, cases are handled inconsistently. This morning, there is more fallout from that fiery disaster in South Korea. The nation's president says she plans to disband the Coast Guard. I have chills looking at that photo. Touching story, huh? Yeah. It's amazing mm -hmm. when all those people come together to help. Yep. I'm glad to see it. Absolutely. It is one of the most important things needed to stop a fire, and now two Chicago men are accused of trying to steal them from neighborhoods. 6.33 on your Monday morning. Starting today, activists will push hard for a trauma center at the University of Chicago Hospital in Hyde Park. Two men are facing felony charges this morning. They're accused of trying to steal fire hydrants. Thanks to social media, restaurants are tracking us mm -hmm. in hopes of finding ways, new ways to get our business. And the consumer is often the winner. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli is... Increasing calls for a trauma center on the south side. Why some say it would actually hurt patients more than it would help. 
Eric Michael Jackson steals the show. We'll show you the King of Pop's performance at the Billboard Music Awards. It'll make sense in just a second. Welcome back, everyone. 639 on your Monday morning. In Money Watch today, this could be hard to swallow as you grab your first cup of joe this morning. A fungus called coffee rust is threatening crops in Central America, and it could lead to higher prices here. And this is some good news. Just in time for the busy Memorial Day weekend, gas prices are dropping. Controversy this morning surrounding the winner of the Preakness Stakes. Why his trainer may not let him race. You need to have it even colder than what we had wow. for a sustained amount of time. The one area that may have those emerald ash borers kaput is up around parts of Minnesota. Wow. Thanks to some high-tech wizardry, he danced there on stage as a 3D hologram and sang his new hit, Slave to the Rhythm. Some music fans called it genius. Others found it a little creepy. I liked it. I say genius. I yes. liked it. Yeah. Still trending on Twitter. I can't believe how real it looks. Such yeah, he did his amazing. thing, didn't he? You know what? That man's got moves for days. That he does. Love it. Even right, the moonwalk. You, you got it. More tastes than you can imagine are coming together at this year's National Restaurant Association Convention at McCormick Place. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is giving them all a try, of course, at the largest convention to hit the Chicago area all year. All right, I confess. I always... Mm, I think? am jealous. You think so? Oh, I love First it. First the bacon, now this, huh? I believe him, too, because I can hear the Italian accent. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Vince. You know, despite a new law on books aimed at curbing jail time for marijuana-related arrests, they're still on the rise in Illinois. We'll tell you. Join Rob and Kate for that original story tonight at 10. We could be close to knowing what's causing those dangerous holes in the sand at Mount Baldy in the Indiana Dunes. Science Family and friends are remembering a former Marine from Lamont killed in a motorcycle crash just hours before he was set to graduate from the University of Illinois. This morning, experts are looking for people who had contact with a MERS patient from Illinois. That man contracted MERS from the first U.S. patient with the virus. Health officials say the virus was possibly transmitted by just a handshake between the Illinois businessman and the Indiana patient. The Illinois man is now the first person to contract MERS on U.S. soil. Land acquisition is delaying plans for a new metro station in Edgewater. The Sun-Times reports the transit agency won't break ground until next spring because of legal problems with property owners. When the station at Peterson and Ridge was announced last fall, Metro expected to begin construction this spring. Neighbors tell the paper they are relieved, though, about that delay because they still have concerns about the project. I think you guys would agree. I think she's a keeper. Yeah. Oh, hey! No right? Hey! I think she's a keeper. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats. Flawless, as always. Oh, it's been fun.